too old for your age. Physically, I'm only eight. Mentally, the doctor refused to believe it. Why do you bring my sister flowers? Because you want to marry her? It's all part of the racket. Where is Eloise? Putting on her lipstick so you can kiss it off. Come on, young fella. I'll put you to bed. Or your sister and I are going to be late for dress rehearsal. I made quite an entrance, thanks to Junior. Donald, didn't you promise Mother and Dad you'd be a good boy? I am being good. It just happens that their standards are much higher than mine. Where's his babysitter? His sitter? Um, well, Donald, go in and wash your teeth and go to bed. And don't wake your baby sister. What's the matter? No babysitter. There are dozens of babysitters in the neighborhood. Well, not for my dear brother. He's been declared out of bounds. Have you tried the employment agencies? They don't have babysitters. Well, it looks like my understudy will have to go on tonight. Start calling every employment agency till you find one that's open. Get somebody, anybody. It sounds like a bad idea, but I'll do it. And I'll handle my pal Donald. before you fall asleep. That's been tried too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm Oh, Princess, I want to bring you to water. I'm a little tired of people waving my mouth. It must be Darling. wonderful to be allowed Can to do everything you? you want to well, whenever you want I want to. to get Oh, you don't Let's get around much, do you? But what do you mean? You mean you have a home? There's no food in the village. The giant, oh, he's taken everything. Time. He's even that's taken your father's crown jewels, didn't he? That's why I have to marry Prince Arthur. Once upon a time, is not oh, all oh, I've never even seen you. But his people have money. Oh, those were terrorized. Did you ever have to marry yeah. a man you've oh. never seen? Tell me I'm a boy. The whole village was terrorized by a fire. Thank you for the water. Thank you, Your Highness. And Princess, yeah. remember, have courage. Don't do me Fear credit. nothing this when you're in the right. Book about That's my motto. Will you read it to me, please? I can't get over the big words. Only because I'm fascinated by you. Here, hold my yeah. yes. yes, Mother. Yes, Jeff, you must stop talking to yourself. I was Once talking to myself, Mother. Time. I was talking oh, to the Princess Eloise. He was terrorized. Princesses oh, don't talk to her. Yes. Who lived in a castle in the oh, sky. Jack. When are you going in to grow up and get a sick. simple peasant boy named Jack? Does one go with the other? And his widowed mother. Jack. They had come upon a hard time to a very because of the giant. You're one not going to give me away. Jack was no. told to bring their only child to the If we're not to start, I'll have to sell our best valuable position. Jack. No. You're not going to sell the cow. She has to go. Fetch me a pig with water, and then be on your way. Yes, mother. So they tell me. Oh boy, will the princess be surprised. Princess Eloise? Mm-hmm. You should have heard what she said about you this morning. No worse than I said about her. Any girl who will marry a man for his father's money. Uh-oh. The giant! Mr. Jack. 
giant, Henry. But you're safe with me. I won't let him take you. See? What did I tell you, Henry? I protected you. Now, look, Henry. I gotta go tell the prince about the bad giant they here. Hey, prince. Where did you go? Oh, come on. This is no time to play games. Oh, prince. Oh, prince. Hey, Prince! He's a rough one, Henry. But why don't you have any cloth? My good woman, for cloth you need wool, and for wool you need sheep, and someone stole all our sheep. Oh, I don't believe that silly story about the giant. Oh, there's a giant all right, Mrs. Murgatroyd, because I saw him. You see a lot of things that other people don't. Did you really see him, Jackie? I saw the shadow. How do you know it was a giant? It's all the excitement. You have a whole cow. That's a very good question. Goodbye. We're not going to hold this one for the black market. I'm the idea of selling those to the left sirloin to the seven cents a pound. There ought to be a law. Oh, ladies, 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 I haven't seen a car around here for months. But you bring somebody to me with such an animal, I'll reward him like he's never been rewarded in his life. I'll make him rich, richer beyond his dreams. I'll pour gold into his pocket. I'll pour gold. I've been robbed. A terrible thing has happened. Oh, somebody swindled you out of our cow. Oh, no. I made a nice deal for Henry. But the giant kidnapped the princess and is holding her for ransom. Oh, the poor girl. I'll gladly contribute the money you got for the cow. Money? Only a fool would take worthless money for such a valuable animal. I got five magic beans. Oh, Jack. Why is it whenever I send you on an errand, you always do the wrong thing? One, two, three, four, five magic beans. Ain't I a smart boy for outsmarting a butcher? You were indeed. Plant the beans, my boy. Maybe they'll grow something that we can eat. Mother, plant the beans, Jack. I'll plant the beans. I'll plant them. <laughs> Oh, you're not ordinary beans, are you? Please, beans. Will you grow like magic beans so I can prove to my mother and everybody else that I'm not addled brain like they think I am? Or am I? Uh. Oh, magic beans. <laughs> One, two, three, four, Five. Grow. Please grow. Jack, will you please go to bed? Yes, Mother. Please grow for me, magic beans. Please.
Five magic beans. Jack, dear, please stop repeating that nonsense. Mother, this isn't nonsense. This is the truth. Hey, are those the beans that I gave you for that cow that disappeared? You mean Henry ran away? Yes, and I want my beans back. Don't you dare disturb that beanstalk. It might lead up to the giant's castle. So what? So what? Maybe a brave boy will climb that beanstalk and kill the giant and save the princess and live happily ever after. Oh, no, Jack. The giant will kill you like he did your poor father. Have no fear, Mother. I'm going to climb that beanstalk, and I'm going to kill the giant and avenge my father. And then I'm going to save the princess, and while I'm up there, I'll look for our little Nellie. You mean this boy had a sister? You. He's hurrying to his room. No giant finds a father some to grapple with the midget. He'll pinion Jack beneath his thumb and spank him with a digit. Spank him with a digit. shadow is bigger than mine. Well, the taller you are, the taller your shadow. You see, that's the basic principle of mathematics. I am shorter than you. Therefore, my shadow should be smaller than yours. Mathematically speaking, right? Right. Why? My shadow is making a fool out of your mathematics. Why? Why, that's impossible. That can't be your shadow. No? Well, watch this. <laughs> You think so? Now watch this. Can you imagine that? Now, if I didn't see this with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. It's absolutely... It's a... Hey. What? This... Uh, this... Uh... Hey, Mr. Dickerpuss. You gotta look at this. This, this, is, this is terrific. Follow 
Yes, you might. Because I fear absolutely nothing when I'm in the right. <laughs> a man believes what he believes. And by these principles, a man must stand. A time will come for rolled up sleeves. And it might help to have a fist on hand. If I believe that I am right, there's only one thing to be done. I don't go looking for a fight, but I have never run away from one. But only fools will take a dare. And there are things that only fools do find. If you smell trouble in the air, I'll hold my breath until a breeze blows by. I'll snore defiance like some rhinoceros, afraid of giants. Now isn't that preposterous? I find courage a thing of great delight. Sink feely and feely, I would steady hand and steely. I, I fear nothing when I am in the right. Me. I made a new path through the forest. Did you see what I saw? Did you see that giant? He's as big as the trees. <laughs> Please, why did you ever talk me into this thing? I didn't talk you into this. Now listen, you know my reputation in the village. You know I had to listen to you. Why did I ever let you do it? Why did you do it? Look, Don't stand there with your mouth wide open. Say something. Mr. Dinklepuss, I'm up here to save the princess. The princess? We gotta save her. You're right. The There's princess. the castle. Let's go. Come on. I... What am I doing? Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. But it's a trifle too small for me. A trifle, she says. Glory be, I do wish I knew why the master keeps a wench like you around. He likes my cooking. And I don't want to hear another word out of you. A cook? Can you make an Irish stew? Can you boil a potato like my poor mother used to boil them? I can put you back in the cupboard if you don't shut up. And I can tell the master you never put the princess in our cell like he told you to. You win this time. Patrick always wins. Come back to Erden, my morning, my morning. Ah, it's in fine voice I am today. I still can't believe that harp talks. He talks too much. How do I look? Ready to be locked up. Or do I have to be? Orders, me dainty beauty. Orders. Unfortunately, he's right. I meant to ask you, are you the giant's wife? Heavens no. I'm his housekeeper. He stole me last year from another kingdom. Well, what'll he do with me? Release you for ransom money, perhaps. And if there is no ransom money? You'd make a lovely Sunday dinner. Thank you for calling in music, whoever you may be. Who is he? A troubadour the giant picked up yesterday. Who are you? Just a girl from the village below. 
What's your name? Um, Darlene. Are you as pretty as your name? My guess is yes. That's a nice melody. Are there words to it? Not yet, but they can be by tonight. What will you be doing? Mm, what did you have in mind? A rendezvous in the garden. I'll speak to the giant about it. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Mister, if I'm too heavy for you, I just leave walk. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> Open the door! Open the door! Open it! Here's some extra help for the kitchen. You're a little one, aren't you? But I grow on people. Bless you, me boy, bless you. What's that? What do you know? A talking harp. You said that? I said bless you. And I'm sorry not that I see your silly little face a bit closer. Oh, I mean... Thank you, Master. Oh, it's a sight for sore eyes, it is, yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Well, I'm off to hunt in the forest. Will you want any supper? Just a midnight snack. Anyone we know? <laughs> Could be. What's the matter with you? Did you hear that? I hope it's not me. <laughs> well, what's the matter with you? <laughs> You're standing on my foot. Uh... Come with me. I'll show you what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you show me and I'll show him. Make the little fat one work till his back breaks. Oh, I love the sound of cracking bones. You're a bad harp, and you're gonna have a bad end. Sticks and stones, sticks and stones. All right, Blabbermouth. Into the cupboard you go. Don't you dare put me in that dark cupboard again. Don't you dare. A thousand curses on you, and I'll have me revenge. Come back to work in the morning, the morning. A thousand curses on you, master, master. That harp had very bad ringing up. You must be hungry. Would you like a glass of milk before supper's ready? Uh, thanks. Thank you, miss. Or is it missus? It's miss. Why? Well, when I look at you... Now, now, wait, now, now. You're too young to go out with girls. Yeah, but this might age me fast. Here's to us. Now, leave that alone. Don't lose any of it. Well, don't get hoggish. To us. What? Why, you sweep me off my feet. I'd need a little help for that. Well, here. It's Henry's. She's here. How do you know? No other milk ever tasted this pleasant. Where is she? There's plenty of time for that, but I have an idea how we can escape if you're interested. We're interested. Not me. Not unless I can take along the princess. Does she mean that much to you? Oh, no. You jealous? You needn't be. I promised my mother that I would return home with the princess. And after all, a boy's best mother is his friend. Right? No! Your song's finished. My song? Listen. Music and 
so we can sail you over the wall. Sail me over the wall? Yes. We're going to build catapults out in the garden. And the housekeeper, she thought of it. She's on our side. Oh, wonderful. You don't suppose she'd let us out tonight for a rendezvous in the garden? Princess, I didn't think that you cared for me. Not you. I meant the young man I told you about. Oh. Well, if I approve, after all, I am one of your royal subjects. And I do so want to see our princess go out with the right fellow. Goodbye, Your Highness. Ooh. Prince Arthur, I wondered what happened to you. Say, uh, aren't you the young fellow with a cow? I'm alone now. Here's your supper. I guess the princess was disappointed when I didn't show up at the wedding. I never saw a girl cry so much in her life. What are you whispering for? I don't want the girl in the other cell to know I'm a prince. You know? No, um, look, you seem to have some influence around here. You don't suppose you could uh, let you out tonight so you could have a rendezvous in the garden? How did you know? It's a secret. But first of all, I'll have to get you some other clothes because the clothes you have on make you look too much like a prince. Prince? Er, your highness, excuse me. I'm sorry. Parents don't have the background of yours, but he's a wonderful fellow, and your loyal subject that approves. Thank you, Jack. Telling the housekeeper, and now I'm going to tell you. What's on your mind? The prince is not the prince, and the princess is not the princess. Then who are they? Just a boy and girl in love. Tonight, I want you to order a full moon and keep the stars shining bright. History is going to be made tonight. <laughs> princess. Mr. Dinklepuss, I just got through telling you. She's not the princess. She's Darlene, aren't you, princess? Are these the catapults? Y yes, this is my own creation. You see, all you have to do is get on here. I cut the rope and zoom you right over the wall. Will it work? She's asking me, will it work? <laughs> I'm asking you too, will it work? Will it work? Get on here, Jack. Wait a minute, is it dangerous? Well, it's far too dangerous for a human being. But get on here, I'll show you whether it'll work or not. Get... Wait a minute, too dangerous. Much too dangerous for a human being. <laughs> Come, princess, I mean, darling. <laughs> Oh, it's a lovely night to be somebody else. Tell me, what's he like? He sings very pretty. Oh, I know, but shall I... Shall I let him kiss me if he tries? Oh, princess. Why not? I have your word you won't try to escape. You have my word. right there. Don't take a chance. You're... And you're... That's right. 
is it? I didn't expect somebody so. Neither did I. Won't you? Sit down. Thank you, I will. Would I be bold if I... If you put your arm around me? There's a dreamer's club that dreamers weave A tapestry of make-believe The fine brocade of all your schemes Exquisite fabric from the
the hammer. What am I doing with the hammer? <laughs> I'm going to tap every one of those hens like find the one that lays the golden egg. Are they like cricket? No. I'm sick and tired of that line. <laughs> Yes. Did you find out yet? Not yet. Have you got that chicken food uh, mixed up yet? Oh, we'll be soon. And where do you see the eggs they lay? We'll hurry up. I've got to get to the catapults. I'm a little farm boy. I'm one guy that knows how to mix this food, Mr. Dinklepuss. So feed the chicken. I will.
I'll be right back. Uh, I forgot a couple of things. Mr. Finkelpuss. Why, you greedy boy. What do you mean? What are you doing with the giant's jewels and my nubby? Never mind that. Swing me out of here. Take your time. There's no rush. What do you mean? Ah, quiet. Quiet, my little gold mine. <laughs> it's my nelly. Let me, let me see the jewels. Oh, no. They're mine. All mine. I share them with no one. I I come a long ways with... I can... Oh. Oh. I think of us. I have not seen a face like that since I seen a pork chop in the window. And you have no fear. Polly and I, we chained the giant up down in the dungeon. He can't get away because I left him...
was a close one.
himself, he wouldn't know the monster. And if he knew him, he would be the only one who watched her. He met his doom. He fought down and go boom. And he never looked better in his life. Someday, by gosh, he'll be acres of squash. And he never looked better in his life. He fell on his word of bra la la Several branches of the beanstalk for a necktie. I never seen a better looking couple so the necktie. His toes are curled and he's out of this world and he never looked better in his life. And there he lay to the end of his days and he never looked better in his life. So tune up the orchestra, la la. Right? Right? I fear nothing 